In this video tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to edit memory. You will need internet access and a program to hack. I take no responsibility for your actions with the information from this video, so use this information wisely. So let's get started by opening up Internet Explorer and navigating to codefromthe70s.org. Once you navigate to the site, scroll down and select Poke. This is the application we're going to be using to edit memory. Now scroll down and download the zip archive. And save the file to your desktop. Once the file has finished downloading, X out of the browser window and left click and select Extract All. And then follow the prompts to extract the files from the zip archive. Once the files have finished extracting, you will see a setup file. Now uh, double click on the setup file and select run. And now select next. And now you can select where you want to install the application and who you want to install it to. And now click next and then wait till the installation process completes. Once it has finished installing, click close. Now we are going to hack a simple Windows game. For this, this example, I'm going to use Solitaire. So I'm going to launch Solitaire, and I'm going to hack the score. So I'm going to go back to the start menu, and select Poke. And now as an application to target, I'm going to choose Solitaire. Now I'm going to select Add, to add a new memory reference. Since the score is 0, I'm going to select the value 0. Now there are going to be many spots that are going to have the same value, so I'm going to play the game in order to change the score to narrow down uh, the memory values until we have only one uh, memory value. So I'm going to play the game uh, just for a little bit and now that my score is 13 so I'm going to put that in there and select next. Now we only have 12 uh, memory locations that have this value so I'm going to put in 11 as the score has just went down and now we have found the exact memory location of the score so I'm going to give uh, the memory location a name and now as you see it's going to be in here and now I'm going to change the current value to 1000. And as you see, the score is up to 1000. And you can optionally lock it, which will make the score permanent. So now I'm going to change the score to 1 million. And now I'm going to uh, lock it. And as you see, the score is uh, locked and will always stay the same. And so as you see, uh, when I play the game, the score uh, remains the same. And that's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please go to thackersjournal.tk.